all of you are fine assalamu alaikum humans are social beings we crave interaction there are few psychological tricks which you can learn to interact with people around you and be the center of attention you can implement these tricks which would help you in an incredible number of areas like self improvement communication skill first impression ability to go ahead and gaining attraction i am going to tell you 14 psychological tricks that actually work and also few bonus tips at the end number 1 match body language Observe the body language of the person you are talking to and try to imitate that. Research proves that mirroring the body language works very well in building trust. Number two, maintain eye contact. If you ask someone a question and they feel hesitant to answer, just looking at them. Looking into other people's eyes is important because it shows sincerity and integrity while communicating. Look at the middle of the forehead and make a note of someone's eye color. You know, it is a technique to achieve optimum eye contact. People find this friendly and they feel confident and so that they can answer all your questions. Then number three, call them by their names. A person feels special when you call him or her by their first name. You can recall that when you were a student, your teacher used to call you by name to get your attention, right? So you can also get attention by doing this. You can also become a popular person by calling others name. Number four, always agreeable by nodding your head. You know the nodding action makes a person start to believe what you are saying is actually true. They will most likely begin to nod as well and agree with you. Number five, give compliments. What you say about other people influences what they think about you. Speak positively. It's important to let someone know if they are being kind, smart or looking pretty. Actually, you know, people love to be appreciated by others. If you give honest compliments, you will get more friends and you will see that people trust you more and they feel more uh, comfortable with you. Number six. Be the first or last if you want to be remembered. People tend to remember the beginning and the end of the things better than what happened in the middle. If possible, try to arrange your interview so that you are first or last in the line of candidate. When you introduce yourself in front of public or if you need to give a speech, remember that you should focus on a memorable last impression so that others can remember you more. Number seven, make people feel needed when you ask for help and ask for a favor when someone is exhausted. You know, if you need someone's help, start with, I need your help. People like to feel needed. If you say that, you are more likely to receive the help you need. Another point, when someone is tired or exhausted, he or she might not say no to you because that person is tired that time. Maybe that person was not willing to help you out, but because he or she is now tired, so he may agree whatever you are asking for. Number eight, hand someone something while in mid-conversation. If you need help carrying something, Try talking to the person while handling them, whatever it is. They will most likely not even realize you are handling them something and they will just take it and carry it for you. Number nine, think about your hands and practice power posing. 
you know this power posing can help your brain thinking that you are confident two things you can do with your hands like you can step your finger which conveys confidence and showing your palms like this which suggests that you are trustworthy and honest number 10 practice the pavlov theory what is it it is a learning procedure that involves a pairing of stimulus with a conditional response you can have chewing gum or just wear a nice watch while taking preparation for your exam this might help you to get the same flavor or sensation to recall your notes better in exam hall you can improve your scores by this way number 11 ask for a big favor then change it to a small one if you need to buy something and need 200 taka for that then you can ask 500 taka from your parents first when your parents deny to give you a large amount then you can ask for 200 taka they are less inclined to deny you then it's a psychological trick number 12 try imagining you are where you want to be in your life motivate yourself to achieve your goals be positive and be more confident enough to reach that goal and think that imagine that you are already in that place who is at the door of success so if you think that way it would be easier for you to reach whatever you want to to reach your goal number 13 getting information If you have a friend that struggles to open up to you ask him or her a question if they respond partially or it feels like they are hiding something from you simply keep an eye contact and remain silent for few seconds this can make them uncomfortable to break the tension they will most likely continue to talk so it's a trick Number 14 If you did not get a good night sleep tell your brain that you did This sounds weird but if you are completely sure about it it works 100% Now bonus points Chew gum if you are nervous Keep a water bottle with you if you need to speak to public So if you forget your speech you can just have water and you can think about your speech Another point when you talk with your friend if your friend gives a statement you can paraphrase it or repeat it they will think that you are paying a great deal of attention for their statement Have you ever tried any of these tricks tell me about your experience please write in the comment section Subscribe my channel and stay connected. Thanks everyone.